Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 17th Annual National Drug Court Training Conference. Please welcome to the stage the CEO of the National Association of Drug Court Professionals, West Huddleston. Good morning, Lifesavers. Who's thrilled to be a drug court professional this morning? You are truly lifesavers. On behalf of the remarkable board of directors and staff of your NADCP, thank you for the life-saving work you do in drug court each and every day. Over the past year, you have come to the aid of countless citizens who suffer from a malady that, if left untreated, will certainly lead to jails, institutions, and death. For that is the true nature of alcoholism and drug addiction. However, instead of turning your back, you reach out and free them from the tremendous weight they are under. You give them treatment, accountability, and most importantly, the incredible gift of recovery. On behalf of people like me, thank you. They ought to put a medal around each and every one of your necks for how you've improved justice in this country over the past 23 years. Thank you so much for what you do. This conference is a celebration of you on the front lines, saving lives, reuniting families, reducing crime, putting people back together, honoring veterans, and in doing so, saving taxpayers an absolute fortune. And ladies and gentlemen, Congress, right up the river, is paying big attention to what you're doing and your presence here this week. The last, thank you. <laughs> the last time we were in Washington, D.C., four years ago, federal funding would at, was at its all-time historical low of just over $20 million for drug courts nationally. Do you remember that? Today, however, we stand back in Washington, D.C., where federal funding is at its historical high of just over $80 million for what you do. And uh, I am bursting with excitement to tell you that the Republican-controlled House of Representatives agrees with the administration's budget request and just proposed an increase for drug court in the next federal budget. Let me, let me repeat that. In this political environment, you just heard me say you got an increase in the federal budget. That's because of the work that you do. Now, guys, we have um, a long way to go between now and October to ensure that Congress holds that line. It's not over. That's just a recommendation, but it's huge coming out of the House. But that's why you're in the nation's capital at this historic moment this week. The timing of this year's conference could not be any more perfect to bolster support for drug court in Congress and in the public eye. Please make the commitment where you're seated this morning to join superstars Martin Sheen, Matthew Perry, Harry Lennox, Melissa Fitzgerald, and Trey Anastasio, as long as 13 members of the House and Senate as we hold a massive Capitol Hill rally at 8.30 in the morning in upper, in upper Senate Park in the shadow of Capitol Hill. Who's going to be there in the morning? Let me hear you. Come on. Now, some more great news. After the rally, Martin Sheen and our own Dr. Doug Marlowe will testify 
before the Senate Judiciary Committee Subcommittee on Crime and Terrorism in the morning at 1030. 23 years after the first program started in Miami-Dade County, drug court has its first Senate hearing. Now, I don't know if that seeps in, but they're pretty busy on Capitol Hill this morning. They're pretty busy on Capitol Hill tomorrow morning. And they're stopping what they're doing, and they're going to pay attention to our issue in the most official way that the Senate can do, and that is in an official hearing. It's, it's massive. This morning, I'm honored to acknowledge several national leaders who head organizations critical to the work that you do. On the front row is General Arthur Dean, the Chairman and CEO of Community Anti-Drug Coalitions of America. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Rob Morrison, the Executive Director of the National Association of State and Alcohol Abuse Directors. Rob, thank you. And this conference would not be what it is without the guidance and support of our federal partners, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, the Center for Substance Abuse Treatment, the National Institute on Drug Abuse, and the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention. Please give our federal partners, your federal partners, a huge hand and a huge thank you. NADCP is also supported by private sector partners. None give more than our, our pioneer corporate members. They are alcohol monitoring systems, Alchemies, Orshore, and Siemens. Uh, thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, this conference, it's our biggest ever. It's our biggest ever in attendance, and it's our biggest ever in the program. We will host over 250 hours of education in approximately 160 sessions over the, last, over the next three days. That includes our first ever Spanish speaking track. This event, this convention, is the largest conference and training event in the world related to the treatment of drugs and crime. It is an incredible honor to stand before you. And we have an incredible program planned for you over the next three days. Take a look at your screens. Welcome to Washington, D.C. and the NADCP 17th Annual Drug Court Training Conference. Weather by plane, by train, and by automobile. Over 3,400 people are attending this conference from all 50 states, U.S. territories, and countries from around the world. This year's conference includes over 250 hours of educational sessions, a virtual library of drug court information. Plenty of legal stuff too. Don't forget to check in at the CLE CEU desk at registration for possible credited hours. Can't wait to see you here tomorrow at the U.S. Capitol for the drug court rally. Buses for the rally leave from the Woodrow Wilson bus loop here at the Gaylord Hotel tomorrow morning at 6.30 and drop off here at Union Station, which is just steps away from Upper Senate Park in the shadow of the U.S. Capitol Dome, where we will gather and spread the message that drug court is a proven budget solution. I'm here at the famous staircase from the movie The Exorcist. Today, during our short lunch break, lunch boxes will be for sale in the Drug Court Expo Hall. Lunch boxes will include a sandwich, fruit, and a cookie, but no pea soup. <laughs> and you don't want to miss Jokes and Jazz for Vets tonight at 7.30, when comedian Alonzo Bowden and the Denny Sewell Trio offer up an evening of laughter and music to benefit Justice for Vets Tickets are on sale at registration. And I hear the NADCP Board of Directors is hosting a breakfast on Wednesday morning for first time conference attendees and new NADCP members. Which reminds me, the NADCP membership meeting is today at noon.
and CSAC grantees have their meeting all day tomorrow in the Potomac Ballroom. Washington, D.C. can be a solemn place, a place for reflection, a place for fun, a place for adventure, and a place for learning. We want to make your week as fun and educational as possible. So from the staff of NADCP, welcome to our home, the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. We hope you enjoy the conference.